Linda Barch from the Bruce Company here taking your calls. We will start with Cheryl in Madison. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, uh, my name is Cheryl, and I have some rhubarb growing in my backyard garden, and the leaves and the stems are really small. It happened, started happening last year, okay. and I was just wondering, do I need to add something to the soil to get them to get big again, or the fruit to, or the stem to get big again? Cheryl, how long have you been growing that rhubarb in that location? That particular location, probably 10 years. And it's been good up till now. Have yeah. you been um, composting it? Uh, some compost, but not a lot. Not a lot. Okay, because I was afraid that you'd um, built it up too deep, and that, that can sometimes be problematic. I'm not really Do they wear sure. out? No, no. Oh, no. no. Rhubarb lasts for, through generations. Those plants are usually very, very tough. Uh, is shade increasing? The, the trees that are in that area, are they, they getting so no, big? No, that... there isn't. There's just one tree close, but it's not okay. putting too much shade over it. Hmm. No, I'm going to have to think about that one. I'm going to, I'll talk to folks back at the, right. the Bruce Company and see if I can come up Check with Check back something. next week. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Sure. All right. Let's go to Diane in Prairie du Sac. Hi, Diane. Hi. Hi. Um, Linda, I just received, I think it's a cyclamen, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, mm -hmm. plant, and uh, it's flowering now, and I got online, and I understand it goes through a dormant period. Right. But it seems like it's kind of flip-flop. They talk about dormancy more in the growing season. And I'm just wondering if I should just keep an eye on it and uh, or is there anything uh, that I can do as far as the, to keep it flowering and then move it into a dormant Okay, Diane, cycle? since it's blooming right now, I would just enjoy that and mm -hmm. keep watering it. Look, are you going to treat it as a house plant or move it outside? Cause um, probably move it outside. Okay, I would do that also. I think you're going to have flowers longer. They like mm -hmm. cool temperatures, so don't... Put it where it gets like east light, but not real hot sun, not afternoon sun. And it's going to flower longer outside. And then in the fall, when it starts to, the leaves start to look weaker, let it die back and then let it rest. Okay. And then bring it back. Bring it back in. Yes. Okay. Okay. Will do. Thank you. Let's go to Avis now in Madison. Hi, Avis. Hi. Hi. What's your question? Um, I have a purple flowering clematis. Uh, it's a clematis called the president. Oh, and it's completely overpowered a vine. I've <laughs> completely overpowered the trellis. Can I divide it? It depends upon how it's coming out of the ground. I'm not familiar with President. I was going to hope that you were going to say it was a Jack Manny eye, because then you <laughs> practically can't kill those. It's, I think that clematis, it, I would be a little bit hesitant unless you see lots of sprouts coming. Um, it might be a little bit late this spring if it's, if it's already up quite a bit. I would think about doing that next spring before the, you start to get a lot of growth on it. Okay. We are out of time. If you're on the line, stay there. Linda will talk to you off there. Lots of questions today. Thanks for calling in, everyone.